down a little history of the previous games. In the Metroid Fusions now. Game Boy Advance, baby. Of course it didn't work. It's a video game. Do it, man. Love how quick it is to the point. Classic video game structure, man. There's something to it. Your suit looking kind of clean, Samus. Flashback, okay. Ooh. 
And this reminded me of Monty Ohm. Rest in peace. The legend. Do I the hell my armor look different? Lady from Returnal needs Samus to suit. Oh, that transition was amazing. Oh, that transition though. Right, my trigger slides. All right, left bump. He's in squared. I bump my missile. Ooh. Do not have ball form. No, it's fine. I didn't want to hear you like loud as voice twice. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fox just gave me some wet, sloppy kisses. Conveniently enough. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation data. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttle the ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmission. Hey. Oh, so good, man. It looks amazing. Uh. The map. You're playing a Metroid game, baby. Oh, you know what? What's my Samus Amiibo do? I literally have a Samus Amiibo right next to me. Can I scan it? It's not even a new one. This is like the first Amiibo I ever got. Okay, this one gives me max energy.
Oh shit, no, slide back. That's what that's a melee counter. Ooh. Eighty Perry hide. stuck that horror movie. Ooh. Yo, we looking like Tony Stark? Mega Cannon. Aim mode, tilt, aim. Well, that's real fucking fancy. That's so cool. Get him a little bit of my Smash Brothers tactics in here. Oh, this is so snappy, man. Yo, what if we got a new Symphony of the Night like this style? They've made some of those games too, you know? Like, damn, man. This is sick.
Oh, my first run is going to be the 100% run. That's just how it's going to be. Anxiety, 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 I'm like, clock tower? Yeah. Great. I need an arc reactor is what you're saying. A way to self-sustain an energy blast. I can shrink. Oh no, I fucked up. Let's 
equipping that. This thing sucks <laughs> on your ass, man. Ah, right, you playing with me? You playing with me right now? Hell no! This thing is like the Terminator. Did not stop. Oh my god, dude. thing is is legit terrifying I want nothing to do damn it man oh another room thank the lord thank the metroid fucking <laughs> I just I don't know if any of y'all old enough to remember clock tower but like when Big Scissors was chasing your ass and you're trying to hide in a locker and then he just stabs you through the locker. This shit's terrifying. The clock tower vibes. Oh, don't want to miss. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, you little hunt. Yeah, I'm gonna need to like float with the bomb to get that. You no, know can I can I do the? No. Just don't have to worry about like drowning or anything like that. You know, you know how these games be. I'm playing Galaga, fighting these guys. Out of the base is so intricate. Oh, the Chozos. Am I going to get it? Oh, this is so beautiful, man. Reveal. Damn it. Not as cool as getting the ball. Oh, really? I didn't know it would be able to come from like that kind of angle. He has a crazy delay on his, uh... I gotta really learn that to Oh my god. Really? Right into him. Oh, we're back here. What am I doing?
I've not been down though. I think I see where I have to do the timing on the counter. I think I'm doing it way earlier than I think I should. I really had to wait for him to like basically puncture me. Great auto save system though. You little bitch. Oh, you're a son of a bitch. That Emmy is a bastard. I was just not fucking. I didn't think his body would twist to be able to go up like that. We're gonna fuck out of here before this thing shows up. Bike! Got up! sound game now I don't know where the hell I'm going For this, da, 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 da. oh my God, in the fields! <laughs> That's amazing. Now we're playing some Metroid. Right, can I can I one hit at fifty stock, fifty percent stock? Bosses. Thank God. A whole new world. A whole new place to call my own. I always feel whenever I get a new power in Metroid. Oh, hell, I don't like anything about this area right here. Katy Perry hi baby. Come on now. In my space suit. I got all the loot. Now I'm gonna hold left trigger and shoot. They've been showing something in the background. Is that silhouette? I don't like it. There was some like cloaked monster earlier that With that extra health. What's up, Jablo? What are you doing up so late on a Saturday, man? Oh, come on, bring it. Oh, he actually died. What up? 
Punk ass. Oh, I definitely got him. Save and get the new power. And it makes me want to play like Symphony of the Night and the classics of this genre instead of the games that are obviously inspired by the classics in this genre. break through that door yet. Ooh, play yourself. Something very interesting about that door. I must go back. Like you guys don't understand. Like the first when I when I first got into games, it was NES. Like the first ever game I beat was not Mario Brothers. wasn't Contra. It definitely wasn't Contra. When I was that young, no, the first ever video game I beat and saw credits was Metroid. Metroid is the first ever video game I've ever beaten. I remember uh, getting the SNES, and I got, you know, Mario World, I had F-Zero, I forget what else I had at launch, but, man, I still remember that Nintendo Power. Y'all should know what I'm talking about, the Nintendo Power that had Super Metroid on the cover, and my lord, like, was the excitement just on another, another level, and uh, I remember getting that game day one. Of course, games were insanely expensive back then, so... Wait, 
Wait, where am I supposed to? I can't go through here. I mean, I can't go through there. Now I don't know where to go at all. Oh my god. Okay, well as long as I wasn't crazy, I'm like, wait, how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh, you can't mess with the parries though. Power, here it is. Oh, wow, that's great. Oh, running. No, I don't want the lava. I'm clearly gonna get a suit unless we go on lava. That's very much clearly the next upgrade. Or not. Maybe I can get ball form. Come on, man. Give me the ball, man. I'd say, like, since Super Metroid's release, like, the game that. Besides Symphony of the Night, because I love Symphony of the Night as well, because I also did play Castlevania games back in the day. Back when they were considered separate genres and not shared name. Uh, I think the best Metroidvania I've ever played, the only one that literally recreated the feeling of playing Symphony of the Night and Super Metroid, was Shadow Complex. I think Shadow Complex is a great game that helped carry that Series four, honestly. Uh oh. There's been many great games in that genre since, but Edo Complex is just so revolutionary when it came out. Oh, the thermal flow could be directed to now. Fuck myself? Oh. Let's talk to the computer again. There is no record of your 
assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of the Chozo Warrior Tribe. You have seen the Warrior Tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Ah, got it. Seek them out to proceed. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Got it. Uh, I am about 40 minutes in right now. And I don't agree with you. The best part of the Metroid series, especially the 2D ones, is how incredibly tight and well designed they are. So I think like the length of them is never really the issue. Uh oh, do I have that energy? Shit. Okay, okay. Situation bad. Oh, you mother. <laughs> oh, those things are devious. The sons of bitches. It's like the Metroid Prime games are always longer than that. Um. Which felt appropriate. Those are like 3D action adventure games. Like those games had a decent length to them because you're in a big world, you're exploring it. But the, the 2D games, like they're tightly, like so tightly designed and the map is so intricate and balanced on itself that I, I don't think you want it to be a long game. I think you lose a lot if it was to be bloated. You'd have a lot of like rooms that didn't have a purpose and I put it this way, like, I've never beaten a Metroid game and been like, oh man, it's short. Like, I don't even think about the length of time. Like, I, I immediately want to go in for, uh... No, oh, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent! Oh, no, 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 no! My ass! Ooh. Ooh. Nah, you get me! My butthole is tight! Oh, oh no, I got duped. Oh, where is it sending me? God. I mean, I ain't scared. <laughs> ha. I ain't scared at all. Oh, what? Oh, I stumbled into a boss fight? Oh, hell no. Oh, I can't even... I will dump the whole missile collected. Oh, boy. Oh, hell no. That's some free... Ah. Oh. Ooh! Think I care about my life? Oh, I had no more missiles. Well, get out of here. Oh, oh did I want to get the energy? Yes. Come on, give me the power. Give me the power. Give me the power. Time to die. Iron Man unlocked. Repulsor Tech.
Oh, sick. I have a rapid fire now. <laughs> I'm gonna beat some ass. Where is this fucking motherfucker chasing me around? I kinda want more room. I kinda want more room to square up. Let's go. Here we go. Fucking perfect. Maybe I should have just shot him with the big blast. No, I definitely have to do that. I definitely have to like just shoot him enough. I think I just have to like literally like kite him. Yeah, see, I gotta kite him. Then I back up. Boom! Fucking dick. Oh, so satisfying to kill one of these motherfuckers. First Emmy down, give me a new power! Ooh, pass agent. The hell is this spider magnet? Spider magnet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Haha, -ha, there we go. I don't know why I just forgot the name of the spider magnet. Like, all my Smash Brothers tech is, like, right here. Oh, but now I'm in peace. Now there's no more robot chasing me around. Ah, oh, I could breathe. All oh, nice. night. Feel free to ask me any questions. If you're wondering what's going on. I can't I can get over like how incredibly good this game feels. Like, it's, it's definitely one of the tightest controlling games I think I've ever played. Kind of the issue with these 2D games that are actually 3D is they lose that two-dimensional feel. Like, they don't feel as tight as the old sprite games, but this feels incredibly smooth. It's definitely like, uh... You've never played... Any of them? Really? That doesn't look great at all. Never Super Metroid? DS? I'm talking about Super Nintendo, baby! Still don't know how to get into those doors. Oh. Oh, okay. That was fucking freaky. Uh oh. Man. Do you have a switch? You have a switch, don't you? Uh oh, what's going on? 
Oh, what? Oh, a little bit of that Metroid Prime angle. Oh, what? No, 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 no. I can't even like... Did I get him? No. What the fuck? Oh, <gasps> what? I get hit one more time, I'm actually dead. Mm. Let's go! Call me Namtox, baby! Wait, he's not dead yet, is he? Oh. What? Hard. Oh, okay. And then I got the pattern, though. Hidden boss, like there's no way. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, come on, I parried. Get a dick game. Angles are amazing. Ooh, bus. Hey, 
Oh, let's go. Yes. Yo, can I get some props as a streamer here? First time beating that son of a bitch? Cut it off. Cut it off. Oh, what is this? Oof. I was not expecting this game to uh, be testing me like God of War, give me God of War status right here. I had to bust out some of the old Namtox. Well, suddenly it's sick. Nice. Oh my lord. Yes, uh, the game does have like an intro that kind of basically goes over very briefly the previous Metroids. Uh, basically all the relevant points. But really... Even if... So I don't even think that like Super Metroid is like necessary to beat. I think Super Metroid is good if you like catch up on it like a story summary. Super Metroid is a classic, all-time classic. But I actually think that uh, Metroid Fusion is the better game to play. And there's like pretty, there's like several ways that you can play that nowadays uh, on like a laptop or a PC. Oh, now I can go on these doors? Oh, video games are amazing. the map here if you want to go back up to that save room yes okay. I love having a melee parry like that shit is amazing oh save point Ooh. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like I still have so much more area to go. And this isn't the only map in the game. I know that for a fact. There's like another uh, area that's just as big that I haven't seen yet. That's what I'm saying. But the thing is, the games are never like, oh my God, so huge. They're impossible. They're really well designed. Like an area that you see near the beginning of the game, you'll have to probably come back to it later on. Like in, in all these areas, there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't even access. I still have to go back. What's nice is you can mark the map. You can like place icons. Uh, it definitely seems like it's going to be the best one in terms of like setting you up. Which is what all the best games do. Symphony of the Night, Castlevania did that. Shadow Complex does that. The classic Metroids do it. Uh, it's rare when a game can combine all that stuff together. But uh, that's going to be it for me for tonight. Diablo, thanks for hanging out. Nihi, thanks for showing up earlier. Flox was playing some Far Cry co-op with me. So if you want to go back in the archives, I got some of that. And I'm going to put this up on YouTube. I, I was recording it at like 1080p. So the YouTube VOD should be very crystal clear. But this is, so far it looks amazing. Fucking runs great. And it's actually challenging. Woo. Love it. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Please follow. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. It helps me out a ton. And uh, see you later, guys. And gals. And everything else in between. Bye-bye.